lovely to have you back and uh, to have you back with a, a big smile on the face because it was such a wonderful World Cup, but also just a bit sad at the end because you were looking so good and then it just didn't quite work out in the semi-final. How, uh, how are you feeling? How have you taken it all in? Yeah, I don't actually know why I'm still awake. I'm still in New Zealand time. <laughs> um, but no, it's, I think it was a wonderful campaign for us. I think we've had our best World Cup yet. Um, very unfortunate to not go to that to the final. I think we deserved it with the cricket we've been playing. Um, but I'm just very happy the Aussies won the English on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you, you cost us a a lot of sleep because the games are ridiculous <laughs> times, but also a few years of our collective lives because you insisted just about every game of dragging it out to the last over for these overly tense and dramatic finishes. Yeah, I think we spoke at the beginning of the tournament as a team and just saying, you know, what kind of cricket we we want to play and what we want to achieve as a team and I think you know the entertainment factor was definitely one of the aspects we wanted to do is you know to entertain the fans back home and to get more cricket involved or more um, viewers involved with the game um, so no it, I think some of the games were too close for comfort but um, I think we've definitely inspired a couple of, a couple of people back home. We were chatting before the show started. The number of friends of mine at the last World Cup had no interest in women's cricket. They wouldn't have got up in the middle of the day, let alone three in the morning. And yet this one, they were on WhatsApps. They were sending out tweets at half past four. Come on, the Prades. Did you get a sense in New Zealand that the World Cup as a whole, but also your team, had gone to another level? I don't think so. I think, you know, when you're at a tournament like that, you're kind of in that bubble and, and you kind of just feel the New Zealand life. But I think literally when we got back to the to the airport on Saturday evening with all the people um, supporting us at the airport, there were hundreds of people. Um, I think that's when it kind of just sunk in um, and we realized what we've actually achieved. Um, and I think that was one of the best moments of my life. Oh, you did us proud. You were amazing yeah. as a team, amazing as a captain. It was wonderful to watch. Oh,